Hey everyone, it's me and it's Saturday and I thought we would do a fun little video. Yesterday I got in the mail, John said you have a box from, I don't know how he pronounced it, Rena or something. I was like, what is that? And it was from Rena Beauty, Lisa Rena's lip products. Own it. <laughs> I ordered these the day that her website went live. I think I've already told you this. But it kept bombing out. Like every time I went to add it to my cart, I think that's what it was. It would just spin and spin and spin. And I kept coming back to it. And then when, it, when I did put something in there, because I was just getting anything. They all looked good to me. So I was just pressing whichever one I could get because I knew it was going to be sold out like immediately. So whenever I did come back to it, and put something in my cart everything i had pushed previously was in my cart too so it ended up being like 200 and some dollars which was fine because i think i got a good array i got the lip kits and i thought this was so cool not only do i i love her like logo rena beauty and it came with this is this not the coolest little Thing to put your whole lip combo in and throw it in your purse. Something so simple, but something I will use. And then it says Rena Beauty right there. Let's see. Birthday Suit Lip Kit. Legends Only Lip Kit. No Apologies Lip Kit. Legends Only. So that's something I got twice and I've already told some people I would share, and this is another <laughs> Legends Only. So I just have three to show you, but I think we'll get a good idea from these three. And I just put my makeup on, and I put on, I always, when I'm getting ready, I use my City Beauty Clear Plumping Lip Gloss. I use it at night and when I'm putting my lipstick on. So I did bring out my wipes to wipe everything off. What I'm trying to get at here is sometimes to me, it's hard to get the full impact of a lip combo if there is residual lip combo on your mouth. You know what I mean? And then once you start taking it off, your lips, you know, get red and then it doesn't apply the same, but we're gonna do the best that we can. So let me go get my beauty blender thing and maybe we'll go over my lips in between two. Okay. I actually applied my foundation with my brush today and then I did wipe it off just on the brush cleaner. I'm hoping there's some still left on there and we can do that. Okay, anyway, here we go. So let's start, I have not even looked at these on purpose I didn't look at them because I kind of wanted to do it with you guys. So just looking, okay, so they all have the Notice Me lip liner. That's fabulous. Okay, that's fabulous if that's the case because that way it won't change that. So let's start with the lightest. So in each kit, like in their own little compartment there, you get a lipstick, I would say magnetic, nice, feels kind of like, hmm, feels just like a, it's like the shape of a Tom Ford or a Laura Mercier, kind of, and then very similar to like Laura Mercier lip gloss, so this is, the lipstick is Troublemaker, um, no filter, and then this lip liner is Notice Me. Okay, so let me make sure I've got all of that off. And I kind of do like to have a little bit. I don't like it to be too slick and clean and everything because then your lip liner doesn't go on very well. Okay, I brought a hand mirror out here. Okay, so they are roll-up, which I know most people prefer roll-up. Even when I was talking to Brooke about it, she said, yeah, when she worked at Ulta, most people won't roll-up. But I prefer sharpen because, you know, I like a certain 
look, but I understand why they did this. Okay, so here we go. Okay, very smooth, very pigmented. You guys have seen me put on enough lip liners to know. Okay. I can get a good curve with this. Like that. And I've got a little break out here from wearing my mask. Okay. That is a good color. I think a lot of people will like that. This is, I would not say, I would say it's a rosy color if I had to say what tone it is. I personally wish it was a little bit more brown, but I think that a lot of you will like this. Okay, so this is Troublemaker. Oh gosh, I didn't do my swatch. Okay, so notice me. I don't know, it's like a rosy brown. Okay, and then this is Troublemaker. I'm trying to put it in the best spot so you can see. It's like a nudie, mauve type color. Love the consistency. That's interesting. On my hand, I felt like it pulled more mauve, I guess because my hand is tan. But on my lips, it's a good, like, peachy tone. Peachy nude. And then the gloss is no filter. Has a, just a pretty simple doe foot applicator. And I'm going to try to get a lot off here. And that is a pink, I would say, like a pink gloss. And I'm going to put it on with my hand because I don't want to Okay, and I would say, just like all good lip combos, you can't get a good lip combo or a good lip with one product. It always takes, it's like a, it's like a cake or something. You have to put all the ingredients and like all the consistencies and all the tones kind of work together. What do you think? I think it's pretty. I love it. I love it. And it feels good and weighty. It's not too slick like YSL tends to be. Not dry. So far so good. Okay, so that was birthday suit. I'm going to put it back in here the way it was. And I will probably just end up wearing the last one I try for the day. Okay, and I'm going to... Okay, that helped a little bit. Kind of mute them out a little bit. Okay, then the next lightest one I would say would be Legends Only. And I'm going to use the same lip liner because it's the same in all of them. Rose All Day and Dancing Queen. This is rosé all day. Oh, okay. That looks like it's going to be my color. Peachy. Peachy pink. Okay, I hope you can see. And I like to kind of go up and over my lip liner a little bit.
Wow. I love this one. Oh, it's just so me. I love it. Okay. And then the lip gloss is Dancing Queen. <laughs> I just got that. You know, these all kind of apply to her. She's always dancing. Okay, so I'm going to put the color out here. And then that has a lot of pigment. This gloss has more pigment than the other one I just showed you. I think you could wear this even on its own. That is gorgeous, gorgeous. So, love this. And at the end, you'll have to tell me which one you like best. Love it. I just blotted this. Sometimes I like, matter of fact, most all the time, I like a lip combo. I put it all on and then I blot it one time so that it's kind of worn in. And then I might apply a little bit more gloss, but this is pretty much it, like here. I'm not worried about putting this over this one. You know, just a little bit. And then it has more of that, like, worn-in look. Okay, so I'm going to take this one off now, and we will try the last one. So far, I like this one better than the first one. I'm going to go over it with my... Brush like that. Do the lip liner again, which is Notice Me. I like to get my curve just right. Sometimes I don't, and they're uneven, but that's just, my lips are uneven. I think, I think everybody's are. The first one was Legends Only. The next one was Birthday Suit. And now, no apologies. I wish I could do that. I apologize and worry about stuff too much. Okay, so this is the lipstick in <laughs> Pucker Up. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's compare that one to the last one. So that is the lip liner and the lipstick. This one's definitely like a little like a little bit of a brighter peach, I would say. This is birthday suit that is pucker up. I think this might be the one for me. thought to myself, finally somebody's coming out with all nude lip combos. You know what I mean? It seems like so many people come out with the bright pink and the bright reds and stuff. And I know some people wear that, but they feel and smell. There's not a lot of smell at all. Like I don't think there's, they put any fragrance in these. It just has that lipstick smell. And they have a good weighty feel. Love it. And then this is Guilty Pleasure. Ignore that. Top lipstick. That is it. This is the No Apologies Lip Kit. I'm going to use it because I think, especially with that cool case, I would probably use them all together anyway. Okay, and I am going to leave this one on for the day, but I'm going to take it with me in my little pouch here. So it'll be Guilty Pleasure, <laughs> Pucker Up, and Notice Me. And there's your little lip kit for the day. So pretty. Okay, so let me get this off so I don't stain anything. I already, I was using a sample of 
foundation today. It's a new one I'm trying. It's not a new one. It's one I've had before, but anyway, it was a sample, and um, I could barely get it out, but I accidentally dropped it. It was just like a little bottle about this big, and it like went all over my pants. I had my white sweatpants on, so I had to go put those in the washing machine. It's just been one of those days, but that's okay. Okay, these are the sweatpants from Good American and I love them. They're probably my favorites. I love the color. I love the style. I just love them. They're the, definitely the boyfriend. And I've just got on my Ugg Cosettes. And then you guys recognize the tank top probably. It is one of the Skims Ow. tank top. I almost put this right on my toe. Uh, from the other day that I showed you and my jewelry is the Dean Davidson I thought I would wear it's the green amethyst that kind of matches and the necklace and same nail polish Susie and the Arctic Fox I really like it and that is it so I hope you guys enjoyed this I think that you would love it I think that they're all very wearable and follow me on Instagram to see some pictures later on and you can see how it wears off and everything. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.